Hey, what's going on guys? Rome Gaming here, back into the video. Today's episode, we're gonna go over Voodoo, how I use it to heal, um, just sort of my general setup. Gonna show you some general options and then you can kind of customize it uh, to fit your own needs. A lot of people use different add-ons. Some people use uh, Grid. Uh, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of other ones that people use, but I just have always used Voodoo. It's been around for a long time. It's consistent, they keep it up to date. I never have had any problems with it. So that's personally why I use it. And I also use it because it's so simple and straightforward to set up. A lot of these healer add-ons are just crazy. There's too many options, too many buttons. Uh, there's just too much going on. So we're just gonna go over Voodoo specifically. I use other things to heal with. I use other add-ons outside of Voodoo, uh, but this is by far the most important one. So we'll go ahead and jump into it. Okay, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to obviously download it from CurseForge. So it's V-U-H-D-O on the CurseForge client. Go ahead and download it. Once you get it downloaded, you're gonna press enter. You're gonna type slash V-U-H-D-O space options. Um, if I spelt it right. And then this screen here will pop up. Now you can see just by looking at it, right, you got all these tabs at the bottom. And you also have these tabs on the right hand of the screen. So see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight different tabs within a tab. So there's a whole bunch of different pages, but thankfully you don't have to go through all this. Uh, this is just gonna be like a basic setup. If you're gonna dive deeper into this, you can on your own. Uh, but for the most part, I don't change anything on this page. On the general page, I leave it set as normal. Um, but I do go into the spell tab here and I do change a couple things around. So this will be, I'm not sure how it'd be set up for you. Um, you're gonna have a bunch of different values in this left button, right button, middle button. Um, really, for the most part, what I do is I just take all this out, soothing mist, renewing mist. I don't use button four, five, six, seven, whatever. So these do relate to the mouse buttons. So if you have a button four in your mouse, right, it's gonna relate to that button, however your mouse is set up. Uh, the middle button's obviously clicking into your scroll, reel, scroll wheel. And then the left button, I like to, whatever's in here, just go ahead and delete it and set it to target. So T-A-R-G-E-T, -E it's gonna come up as a command. And what that's gonna allow you to do is left click on the unit frames without anything weird happening. So you can actually select the unit frames yourself if you need to. So going back into Voodoo options here. <clears throat> then on my right button, what I personally do is I set that up to my decurse or my detox and that's gonna cure like a poison or a disease that goes out. Uh, that way I don't have to bind it to anything. I can just right click it on the unit frames when I see that there is something that I need to dispel and it just, you know, it handles it for me without having to go in here and do any sort of crazy hotkeys. So it works for me. A lot of people handle that differently. Some people handle it with a hotkey, but that's how I do it. You can also go over here and set up modifiers if you want to. So like control left button, alt left button if you want to get fancy with it. But for the most part, this is all I do. This is very simple, it's straightforward, and it's worked for me. Going into buffs and debuffs, I don't ever change anything there. I just leave it set as the default. Now going into panels here, you can do a little bit of customization. One thing I go into is the sizing tab here. And what that will let you do is change your bar width, right? So if you want to make it a really wide, you can kind of see how it's adjusting here. If you want to make it really tall, you have bar height here to make it really tall. So kind of up to you. You can kind of play with that to see what fits your, your sort of style the best. Now, another thing that's really important on this panels tab is your hot icons down here on the bottom right. So you can see, you can kind of position where you want your hot icons to show up on your user interface. So just to show you what this is, let me go ahead and apply Renewing Mist to myself. You can see it's popped up here on the bottom left. I can track it. So you can kind of, uh, adjust this and you can change where these icons show up. So you can see I press this one here on the left and you can see the icon kind of moved a little bit. So you can position those wherever you want. Now there's also different slots. So I don't know, let me see what I've got set up here already. Okay, so there's my essence font in slot two. So now you can see I have a renewing mist in slot one. My essence font is in slot two. So the way that you can adjust that is through the hot order over here on the kind of right hand side, you can see I've got Renewing Mist set up in my slot one, Essence Fought in my slot three. And then I'll show you my Renewing Mist here. My Renewing Mist here is in slot three. So, so if you are playing something like Arrested Druid, 
there's going to be you're probably going to fill up five, six different slots. You got a lot of different things to track. Um, so you can also press the drop down here and it will auto populate a lot of the hots for your class. If you don't see the hot in there that you're supposed to be seeing, sometimes I've ran into issues to where uh, the hot that I'm looking for isn't in the like predefined list here. So you can just go in and you can just manually type out the spell name and it will find that link. So if I just wanted to go in here and type in renewing mist and press enter, yeah, just renewing mist just like this, press okay. So you can see here, it no longer has the hot icon next to it. It's still gonna work though, because it, it looks for that exact match on the spell name. You can see there it is right there. And then you also have an option over here on the right that says others if you want to check other people's hots outside of your own. I don't. It gets pretty messy, especially on something like a raid. So um, outside of that, I don't think there's anything else you're going to be changing under icons. Uh, you got some timer options here. You got shield status if you're playing something like a Restoration Shaman or something like a Disc Priest. Outside of that, you can also go into the bars tab if you want to change the UI a little bit. So you can see here we have texture. Right now I have it set to Voodoo Polished Wood. I, that might be the default, I'm not sure. But you know, I could select something like plain white and you can see how it's gonna kind of change uh, just the background that's being displayed on your UI. Outside of that, not too much going on in the uh, panels tab. Um, I normally don't change anything in the colors tab, but it is important to know what these mean. So the way Voodoo's set up is it has a different color code for each type of magic school. So we got poison, disease, curse, magic. So if I were to get poisoned on my character, my entire uh, square here would show up as this sort of blue green uh, off color. That would indicate that I have a poison effect on me. Then if we go back, if we think about to where we set up our spells to our right click. So if I see my UI change to this poison color, I know that I can just right click my UI and automatically dispel my character. Now the same thing, of course, goes for disease, curse, and magic as well. All right, that's pretty much it for the colors tab. I don't change anything there normally. I don't change anything in the tools tab either. And that brings us finally to the move tab. So yours might look a little different from mine. The only thing that I keep on here is my groups one through eight. So you might see something on here like pets. You might see something on here like tanks and assistant tanks. I personally delete those. You can leave those if you want. But if you want to go in there and delete those, like say you have a pets tab over here, just press the X remove. Don't press this X remove, but press this one that uh, correlates with the pet grouping. And, you know, basically what this is showing you is it's just a sort of mock-up of how your groups are going to look when you join a raid. So you can actually hold this button here to test. I think I have to uh, select a 40-man setting. And I can hold test here. And you can kind of see, here's a template of what it would look like if I were in a 40-man raid. So you can see I've got all the different class colors. You can see Dust Cutter here in the middle. He has some sort of effect on him that needs to be dispelled. Looks like a curse effect. Um, I think the tank has a curse effect as well. But that's just to kind of show you what it looks like before you get into a raid. All right, guys. And that's just my quick start guide for using Voodoo. That's all that I personally use. There's a ton of other things that are in Voodoo that I don't even know about. Uh, but for me personally, this is enough for me to get me set up and, and healing the content that I run. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.